good afternoon to you. I'm actually walking here just at the edge of a wood that I used to come in quite often about uh, a year ago, two years ago. And if you look back in my videos, you'll see that I used to do quite a few from here. And uh, I was told actually that I'm not really allowed in this wood because they, they do clay, not clay pigeon shooting, proper shooting. I don't know what they shoot. <laughs> they could be pigeons. But uh, they shoot here in the early morning. And uh, they said, it's not safe to come in, so I can't go any further than just the edge here. And uh, I was just walking up here because um, I just felt like a walk this afternoon and some time out. And I noticed that they've made a clearing here, which wasn't here before. And they've been chopping down some trees. So this is how I was able to actually get in here. And uh, it was quite interesting coming up here because I... I went to go and visit uh, an old friend. I say an old friend. He's somebody that I've known a couple of years now. I've mentioned him before. He lives in a mobile home and it's uh, on the farmer's land and he has permission to be there. And we often meet and I go into his mobile home and we have a cup of tea. And then this afternoon I came up on my bike and knocked on the door and noticed he wasn't in. But um, I thought, well, I'll just take a walk up the hill. And as I was starting to walk up here towards the wood, there was an elderly lady walking with three dogs. And she asked me if that was a footpath. I said, yes, it's a footpath. And uh, we started to walk and talk, and she started just talking general things about the weather and things like that. Then I thought, well, there must be a purpose in this. There must be a reason for it. I wouldn't have been put on a pathway like this with somebody if I wasn't allowed, if I wasn't meant to, to share something of my faith. So I just started up a bit of a conversation. She started up uh, talking about her aches and pains and getting older. And I just said to her, well, I have a hope as a Christian. And that is that um, my body is going to be renewed and that Jesus is going to come back. And she started telling me about um, the Plymouth Brethren, which apparently have a large church in the area where she lives. And the, I was just telling her that um, it's really all about Jesus. It's not about what denomination you come from. And uh, I just shared a bit of my testimony, told her I was a converted Jew and that uh, Jesus is coming back and that we have this great hope. And uh, she walked away eventually with her dogs back down the hill and I walked in here. And I just thought, well, that's how God engineers circumstances. He does this wonderful thing. You know, he made it so that my friend wasn't in and that that lady was just there and that she wanted to walk up the same place as I walked. And um, God's engineering of circumstances because he wants us to speak with boldness in these days to testify of Jesus. And there have been many times when I haven't done that and I've kept my mouth shut and I've often felt that's not what God wants. He wants us to be witnesses for him wherever we get the opportunity to be witnesses for him. So um, I would ask that you pray for a lady called Mary. Biblical name, great name. But Mary's not a believer. She was just walking here with her three dogs. And uh, just pray that God can reach into her heart. He can catch us anywhere, can't he? This was just on a track in farmland. It reminds me of Philip and the eunuch. Philip drew alongside him, didn't he? And God opened his heart to understand the truth. So I just pray that God will open Mary's heart to understand the truth. And if there's anybody that you know that God's putting across your pathway, I would urge you too to be bold to speak the name of Jesus. Just say that you're a Christian and that will start a conversation. Sometimes we're reluctant, but in these last days, I think it's important that we try as much as possible to um, reach to people, reach out to people. We have something, a treasure in this earthen vessel that they don't have. If we understand it and appreciate it, we'll want to share it more and more with people. Have a blessed afternoon.